Hi guys, welcome back to the Pride Villa. So I thought I'd do another video like the last one I did, uh, sort of like a preview to uh, the next game we have, and then sort of talking about the last game we had. So yeah, if you're going to stick around, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, the subscribers have been going up quite fast recently, so if you can keep that up, that will mean the most to me and Ben. And yeah, let's just get straight into the video. <laughs> the suit I have just come out of a business meeting but um yeah so obviously this Everton game um we didn't cover it in the video but it was probably the most how can I say uncomfortable game we've been to not the the actual performance but just sitting there in general obviously it was around 30 I don't know it could be close to 40 where we're seeing obviously everyone packed in together but oh it's just you know we should have brought some water I heard there was a problem with um you know, them not actually giving anyone water, there, there weren't like any separate lines to get any water, they, I think they sold out of drinks, I don't know what was happening in the stand we were in, obviously we were in the north stand, um, but it was just really uncomfortable, everyone was sweating, um, and you know, I'm just I'm just happy they saw, sort of heat waves over, so next time we go, we aren't just sort of sitting there ready to faint I guess, but yeah, more on the game, now I look back at it, obviously they were playing in these conditions, so, you know, the performance weren't fully there, it was okay but it wasn't fully there but you can understand why um, and you know at the end of the day we, we got the three points and obviously the last video we did I did come off across a bit negative and I do apologise for that, it was just you know I thought after that Bournemouth game people were calling it a write off, I don't think the Bournemouth game is a write off because it's the first game back and it's against them and we should be getting three points in my opinion. Um, and then going into the Everton game we should look for a reaction because we know about form they are um, you know they're, they're looking like they're going to have one of them seasons once again which is sad to see from Everton but you know we need to take advantage of these situations and you know come to the end of the game it probably could have been a 3-0 with the chances we were creating um, you know the own goal was just a bit out of the blue obviously Luke Dean scores another own goal at Villa Park what's well, new but it is what it is um, and I just yeah Coutinho still quiet for me I think I'm not too sure if he's injured or not. I don't think he is, but I think now is the time we should be looking at benching him. Obviously, he will come on some point in the game, but we just need Wendy to be starting now. It's about time, um, you know, saying to Ben at the game. Yeah, you play like this against Everton, you get something. But with Crystal Palace, it's different because they're obviously a well-built squad now. They've got, you know, a good management, a good selection of players, uh, organised we play like that against them, we're just not going to win. And also, they just got a point against Liverpool at Anfield, where they should have won that uh, if Zaha actually, you know, tapped that one goal in. But it's just, yeah, I'm not, I, I don't know. But more, more on the Everton game, um, I thought Ollie Watkins and Danny Ings, obviously, we haven't seen them to link up in a while. I thought they didn't do that bad of a job. Uh, a bit so in the first half, but the second half, they really, you know, put it on a bit. And, I was quite impressed with it. Obviously, Ollie Watkins getting two assists. Danny Ings gets his one goal. Um, and then, obviously, Buendia comes on, scores his goal straight away. So, that should tell you he should be starting. Um, but, yeah, it's just, you know, I think what I think what it was, when I was there, um, I think I was just too hot, I guess you could say, uh, to look at the game properly. But now, now I've looked at the highlights. Now I've looked at, um, you know the interviews and all that, I thought, you know, we've done a good job against them and it probably should have been a clean sheet, a 2-0 or something, but, you know, I'm happy with the three points so we can take it forward now, but yeah, we'll talk about the Crystal Palace game now, um, yeah, I think it's going to be a hard one, I do think it's going to be a hard one, I mean, you know, they looked really good against Liverpool, obviously lacking the possession, but they looked really good, uh, their back four looks, you know, quite good as well obviously Goy two in goal uh, up front you got Zaha I didn't actually know Benteke's left for DC United or something I just don't get that deal at all uh, they've got Eze they've got you know they've got some players there um, and obviously some off the bench like Edward someone we were linked with but it's going to be a hard game obviously at Selhurst Park as well um, and the squad I'd be going into it with because obviously we've lost Carlos I haven't mentioned that yet we have lost Carlos Probably for the whole season, you know, it's just it's just annoying because we know how good he is. We know how, you know, he, he just doesn't make any mistakes at all, and he's, he's not prone to injuries. And then as soon as he comes to Villa Park, 
gets an injury. But uh, coming into this game, I would put Martinez in goal, uh, keep the back four, Cash, Digne, Mings and Chambers. I think that, what we've seen before in the past, Mings and Chambers looks really good. Uh, midfield, I go obviously McGinn, uh, Louise and Bubakar. And then front three, I would go Buendia, Danny Ings and Watkins. If there was a change in the front three, I probably would. I'll probably take Danny Ings off and put Bailey on because I felt a bit bad for Bailey, to be fair. I didn't think he deserved the drop. Um, but then, it, obviously, when he came on, I think he was a bit of a threat. But, you know, it's just we've got a lot, lot coming off the bench as well. You know, you've got the likes of Cameron Archer, Morgan Sanson. Um, you know, there's some other players, obviously, I haven't mentioned off the top of my head. But we have got a good squad depth coming off the bench, and obviously, we can use five subs. But, you know, we need to, you know, take this win against Everton, push on against Crystal Palace. I think it's going to be a hard game. Um, I would take a point right now because I, I just think Palace, Palace are well organised and, uh, you know, if we can take something from it. Obviously, we haven't got that good of a record at Sellers Park. Um, to be fair, only under Gerrard won against them since we were promoted. So, you know, hopefully we can get something. But, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say right now, if we get... If we put that squad together, which I have this slight feeling that he might um, might start Coutinho instead of Wendy, which I don't really want to see. Um, you know, hopefully we can get soon. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, please consider subscribing to the channel. We are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And if you can, it would mean the most to us. And uh, yeah, up the villa, or the pride of villa. We'll see you in the next video.